All right, friends, we have another good one for you today. We are going to share here this reaction video to this uh, to this uh, documentary by um, Candace Owen regarding George Floyd death and the rise of the BLM. So let's check this one out together. Marking five, take one. This was the second time he exhibited that behavior yeah. 11 months earlier. Mark. I've never been so hurt inside. Mm -hmm. My experience is unsafe. And even as I'm speaking to you right now, it's starting to come back. Mm -hmm. This is an autonomous zone. Mm -hmm. 23 out of 24 hours in a cell. No TV, no magazines, no books, no nothing. So anytime a customer brings a counterfeit bill, and you see we have plenty of them, we tell them, hey, this is counterfeit. If the customer insists, then we call the police. How did you feel watching the trial? I thought it was a sham. All right, so I, I just want to start it with just you stating your name for the record, as well as your professional background. I have been a police officer in the state of Minnesota for almost four decades forensic criminologist and certified medical investigator and police practices expert. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's a good moment here. It's like we lived together almost, uh, I guess, it was about four and a half years, almost five years. So you guys, in, in many ways, were some of the people that were the closest to him. And I don't remember seeing your faces on the news or anybody talking to you. So I guess let's just start with that. You guys knew him best, so who was George Floyd? Good question. Wow. You're right. We haven't told our side of the story. Maybe it's time for us to tell our story, you know? Mm. 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 Wow. Uh, very powerful stuff, man. We got going on here. Very powerful stuff. Candace Owen is up to serious business, man. And I think it's somewhat the time. The time is now that the BLM, uh, uh, they need to be investigated. Uh, certainly. Yeah. There's been a lot of exposure regarding the BLM movement and we've seen it and I think it's about time somebody has uh, takes the courage to to do some serious investigation and look into the matter and uh and we 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 all know that um the building is falling apart okay <laughs> it, it it is the system is crumbling for good reasons of course um I think there's been a lot of greed and it's been exposed for what it is um it hasn't really helped our neighborhoods. Just recently, we had another mass shootings, and I didn't hear any from anything from them. Uh, supposedly, it was racially motivated with this young man who went to this grocery store and killed, I think, 10 black people. Um, and he had a whole manifesto and so on. So the question is, where's, where's BLM? Well, the thing is, I'm, I'm beginning to believe it's because they realize they're, they're in hot water. They've been they're being exposed. They've been, their 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 sins uh, have been made public. So as a result, I'm pretty sure they don't have much to say. Yeah, I just want to say shout out to Candace Owen for putting this together. Uh, very powerful content. I think our community needs to hear that. Uh, I certainly do believe we can have systems to to assist, to be to somewhat trying to help and curtail some of our tr struggles and situation we have in our society. But I'm not sure if BLM is that system, <laughs> at least not the way they've been doing things. The whole thing needs to be dismantled and rebuilt with uh, with the proper proper goals and proper uh, uh, setups to do that. And I think a lot of people made the decision uh, to support the BLM movement at a point where we were very vulnerable um, at, a t at a time when things were really wild. And I think some of the decisions were made um, without thinking things uh thoroughly so yeah very good perspective i'm i'm excited for this one i need to check this one out i want to be able to watch it 
from start to finish. So I'm looking out for that one as soon as it comes out. Yeah, the greatest lie ever told. Great job, Candice Owen. Um, I think the black community needs um, needs this, and I think all people needs this. And um, the truth has to come out, despite of how uncomfortable it is. Appreciate the content. By the way, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon as well for more of my notification uploads. Thank you. Until next time, have a good one. As always, look unto Jesus and live by faith. Have a good one. Bye.